Hey guys, and welcome to another video, and today I'll be playing Super Mario 35. So let's go ahead and get started here. So I will be doing a stream of this later, so you can join that if you want to. So I'll be doing that, so let's go ahead and get started. So I was recording this. Like, well, currently, as I'm recording this, I'm gonna be uploading this a while after, since I'm... This is the night before, so... Since I'm currently, as I'm recording this, I'm uploading, uh, the Smash Predictions video. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the controls seem like they're locked on B. Okay. So that's pretty cool. They have, like, junk enemies, basically. So it's a lot like Tetris 99, but a little different, obviously. Okay, and then immediately start to into the next level. That's cool, they also have like a time thing, too. So it's kind of like a cross between Tetris 99 and Mario in the Mario Maker Versus. A little, a little bit of influence on the, with the Mario Maker Versus, because you're like playing an online game and everything like that, so... made it more faithful to the original and had it as World 4, but whatever. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. I That's actually really good. I, I like that. So, okay, and they have missions too. Okay. Yeah, so overall, that's, that's actually pretty fun. I like that. But I wish they had, like, more, like, better world unlocking things on there. Like, you can go through the pipe and go to World 4. I feel like that would be a little more faithful to the original, but I'm not sure if that can work or not. So, anyways, there's also a special battle here. Let's, uh, okay. Okay, so let's check that out real quick. Okay, so I think it picks a random course on here. But anyways, this is really cool. I really like the idea of a Mario Battle Royale. It's definitely different than the Mario Battle Royale that I played last year. And... Okay. So we're on 2-4. Okay, then you automatically get a... Oh, crap. I forgot that the controls are locked. Because I was trying to do X and A, and then I forgot it was only Y and B. That's my only problem with this. If they would have had, like, the support for X and A, it would have been a lot better. And also, even though it's not ideal, they still should have had the analog stick to use for, like, controls and everything. But overall, pretty solid. I actually really like this. They might have it in an update, though. Oh, wait. It might be in options. Yep. It's there. Okay. Okay, you can only have it two ways there. Yeah, you can, um, B and A or Y and B. Okay, okay, at least they have that option. But I think they should have, like, the option to use all four buttons. Like, if you want to change your, like, if you want to do, like, X and A, maybe, or, yeah, but th that kind of makes sense. 
So anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. I will be streaming this later, so make sure to join that. So thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to check out my Discord server and check out my Twitter if you want to. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Goodbye.